Hey guys, I'm back to do a review of the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. This is the one that I've, that, that I've been using past couple months. I apologize for the shaky hands. Apparently the seizure medicine is affecting me more than I thought it would. Also with the increase in rejection meds, but anyway. More random drama. If you want to know about that, I'll link the update video below. But I'm in shade light medium. Light is too pink on me. I'm not wearing it today, obviously, because I am a, as I like to joke, tomato face. But, it's cause I'm just having a chill day at home and I didn't really feel like putting makeup on to film a video. But I was wearing this yesterday. And, I am literally like right here on this. So, a little under half. I like this overall, it does tone the redness down in my face, if you guys have seen some of my past videos, if I can remember a few, I will link them below as well, where I wore this, and the redness was toned down, everything looked good, I didn't look, again, like a joke, tomato face, but, the claims it says, Blurs imperfections, enhances, brightens, adjusts skin tone, smooths, hydrates, it's got SPF 30, then it's got 0% oil and other heavy ingredients. Um, as far as blurring imperfections, it does to a point. If you have acne scars, it's probably not going to cover it unless you build it. Because for my under eye bags and darkness, I have to build it with a little little concealer brush from Eva Duels. But for enhances, um. It can enhance your face as far as making it look more natural. For Brighton, definitely does that. It makes you look glowy without looking oily. And I have kind of combo skin. I have dry forehead, but oil in my teeth. Anyway, adjust to skin tone. I can say that once it sets, it does adjust. To mine at least. I don't know about everybody, but it did to mine. Smooths, definitely. Hydrates. Does to a point. I don't have any real bad dry patches now that I've gotten into a decent skincare routine, which if you guys would like to see a video on that, then let me know. It probably will not be like me in front of my sink because it'd be hard for me to film it that way, but I can tell you guys what I do. So if you would like to see a skincare routine in that way, then let me know. SPF 30, which is good for me because with me being a liver kidney transplant, I'm more prone to skin cancer than the average person, so having something with SPF is a good thing. And then 0% oil and other heavy ingredients. I can attest to that one as well. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like you're really wearing anything. Like, to me, it just feels very light overall. It doesn't feel heavy. I do know that by the end of the day, when I'm wearing it, I can't wait to get it off. That's just me personally, because I don't wear makeup that often. So when I do, it's like, ooh, it gets off. You know what I mean? But. Let me show you what the color looks like in the lid. That is light medium. It looks really orange there, but that's because some of it actually settled to the bottom. But when it adjusts, it has a little bit of a yellow tint to it. But once I use my Fit Me powder in porcelain, which is right here, open it. Once I use this, it kind of tones the yellow down to where it doesn't do that. So, but yeah. This is like the combo for my face. I thought about doing a foundation routine to show you guys. I was hoping to do it in collaboration with another YouTuber, but she hasn't gotten back to me. If she hasn't within the next week, then I will just go ahead and film it for you guys. If that is something that you would like to see. If it is, then either like the video up or comment below to let me know. 
because I don't want to do it and then it not be something you guys want to see. You know what I mean? So. So yeah, that is my little review of the Maybelline BB Cream. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If there is anything else that you guys would like me to review, because once this runs out, I'm going to either try a Revlon one or the L'Oreal one, whichever one. I think it's L'Oreal. But if there's one that you guys would like to see me review that is meant to have a lighter coverage, that I don't like anything too heavy then let me know and like this video up if you like seeing me do these types of videos because I know that there's reviews all over the place but I like to you know let you guys know from someone who has more sensitive skin and things like that the opinion of products like this so I will talk to you guys in another video in another time. Bye.